Hello everyone, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be taking care of a new light sensor, a color sensor specifically and it's a BH1745NUC and to gain more knowledge about this sensor let's have a look over the control everything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got for it as you can see it's a digital ambient light and color sensor and also it's uh, the sum of features which are described clearly on this screen you can have uh, the sensor you can purchase the sensor from here also I will be interfacing the ambient light and color sensor BH1745NUC with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code and let's go to the source tab to get the code and here is the code as you can see Python code sample and you can download the code sample as a zip file from here you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's get back to the connections part and let's see what we got there. In the hardware connection setup, first of all the requirement is the digital ambient light and color sensor that is BH1745 and you see. And this here is a Raspberry Pi. Now these are the GPR pins of the Raspberry Pi as you can see on my screen. Now this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website that is controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. It's very useful and the real reason we are using this is to make easy connections with other I2C devices. So gently place the I2C shield over the GPR pins of the Raspberry Pi and we are done with that. Now the next part is this a connecting cable and while making connection with the sensor make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason I2C shield. So we are done with this. Now what do we require is to power up the Raspberry Pi and for that we require a micro USB cable just like that. And gently insert it over the power jack. Now the last part is to provide an internet connection and there are two ways. And first of all this here is an ethernet or a LAN cable. And gently insert it over the ethernet jack and we are done with the internet connection. In case if we don't have this we can go for a wireless nano USB adapter just like that and we can save our day for this. Now as we are done with all the connections for the hardware setup, now let's have a look over the code and let's interface. Now let's have a look over the python code so that we can explain it better and to get the code uh, what do we have is to go log in to the website that is github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and here this is our required sensor BH1745 and you see and after that we have the python code here let's have a look over the instructions first we need to pursue as you can see uh, we have to download and install SMBus library on the raspberry pi and this link will help us to install the library on the raspberry pi as you can see all the relevant uh, information examples dependencies commands are there please do follow it carefully after that this is the command to run the python code as you can see note it down also and then get back to the python code as you can see also it's a .py extension file now carefully notice in the code that we have imported SMBus and time libraries and we have the address of the sensor that is 0x38 now coming to the writing section part where we have selected mode control register 1 having address 0x41 and we are sending the command uh, for RGBC measurement time that is 160ms and it's 0x00 and the writing command is here. After that, we are selecting the mode control register 2 having address 0x42 and 0x90 represents RGBC measurement active and gain equal to 1x. And the writing command is here. The last part in the writing section, we are selecting the mode control list 3 having address 0x44 and 0x02 represents default value. And the command is here. After that, from the address as you can see 0x50, we are reading. 8 bytes of RGBC data as you can see and after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines provided in the data sheet for BH1745 and you see at the very end of our code we have the output data to be printed on the screen which is in the form of red, green, blue and clear and the luminance is in lux which is the unit so this is how it goes like now what do we require is to show the practicality and let's see how it works now in the working environment part uh, the first step is to copy this entire code of the python as you can see on my screen 
and open up the terminal of the respite by via internet and here we have to create a new file as you can see and the name is there and the extension ty and here we have to paste the entire code and then we have to save it as you can see and this is the command to run the code on the screen and there you go we have the red green blue clear data luminance as you can see the unit is lux and as i run the command again and again the results are there as you notice the results are almost constant because there is no interference regarding the light source or the light instant intensity falling on the sensor now when i place some object over the sensor you can see a uh, change there for the rgbc data it's decreasing as i move the subject or the surface uh, of the object near to the sensor now instead when i bring a light source near the sensor and put the light on the sensor you can see the increase in the red green blue and clear data and also the increase is here so this is how the sensor responds to the python code along with the raspberry pi now what do we require to have a look over the features benefits and the applications regarding this sensor let's have it bh 1745 nuc is a digital color sensor ic with i2c bus interface this ic senses red green and blue light rgb and converts them to digital values the high sensitivity wide dynamic range and excellent circuit characteristics make this ic the most suitable to obtain the illuminance and color temperature of ambient for adjusting lcd backlight of tv mobile phone note pc tablet pc portable game machine pda and lcd display this sensor is available on the website control everything.com and you can purchase the sensor from there you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would make like to clear everything and for further queries you can have a look over control everything.com you can contact us there and also for comments you can post your comments on community page for articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor and video you can go to instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can have a look over our youtube channel i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself thanks a lot for watching